Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com Well we had a great question on one of our videos. Uh, I think we may have covered this before. We built this uh, e-commerce site using Elementor and the free 2020 theme. And somebody asked a question. They wanted to export a section from one of their Elementor demos to another and asking me if it was possible. Yeah, it's no problem at all. I've got uh, two Elementor sites up here, the little e-commerce site we built and another little generic site here. So let's export a section from one and import it into the other. So let's take one from here perhaps. Let's take this one. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm logged in, I'm going to hit the edit with Elementor button. Now let's see what we've got here. Now that the Elementor console's opened, let's export this section. Ah, oh, this looks like two sections. We've got a title and then we've got our uh, number counter section. So let's export them both. So a little blue tab there is for the section. If you go up to it and right click on it, you can say save as template. So we'll do that. We'll give it a name. I'll say count title. I'm going to save that. And there it is up the top there, count title. And what I want to do is export that. So I'm going to go over to the little three dots on the right hand side, left click, hit export. Now I'm using Google Chrome so it exports it to my bottom of my browser here. You may be using a different browser. It'll download it to your default file location. So great, we got that one done. Now let's do the other half, this bottom half. Again, I'm just going to right click on the section tab. I'm going to save it as a template and we'll call this counter. Again, just save it. There it is at the bottom. Again, three little dots. I want to export it. Okay, we've got them exported. Let's go over to our new site and go down to wherever we want to put it. I guess we better edit with a enable the Elementor by hitting the edit with Elementor button right here. And decide where we actually want to put it. Let's put it right here. Now you can go to any section, just click on the little plus button, just left click on there. Just left click to add a new section on the little plus icon there. Now I'm going to go to the little folder because I want to add a template. Now our template's not in here yet, so let's go to my templates and we can add it. If we go up to the top here, you've got a little up arrow with a circle around it, import template. Simply left click on there and then drag whatever template you want to drag in there. Now that was counter or count title. Let's go ahead and insert it. As you can see, it's put it straight in there. So let's add another section and put the other half in there. Again, hit the little file button. I want to upload it. Let's grab the second one, drag it up there. And that was the actual counter itself. So we can insert that one. And there it is. There's our little counter section imported. And it should function and look just like the new one. Let's uh, have a look at our preview changes. Make sure everything's going to work out OK. There we go. Now there's one thing that uh, didn't happen when we did this that I'm a little surprised about. Occasionally when you import sections, it'll prompt you, it'll give you a little box that says, do you want to import styles? Yes or no. If you're not sure, always check no, because sometimes global styles will overwrite existing styles that you've got on your page. 
So if you're not sure, just say no. So there you have it. There's how to import sections from one site to another using the Elementor import and export feature. So I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.